In today's video, we are going to be comparing the sound recording quality of iPhone 11, Zoom H5 recorder and a Rode NT4 microphone using one of those things. My name is Mateusz and on this channel I'm bringing you the best tips, tools and advice on how to become a better violinist. I also do product reviews, so actually the products we are talking about today, there are links in the show description below, so you, at any time you can just click them and uh, check them out. And also, don't forget subscribing. So, now let's move on with the show. For this test, this is how I position my microphones. Uh, here is the Zoom H5, uh, iPhone right here, and the Rode NT4 right there. Now, when I play, I step back about four feet, about uh, here, yeah, and uh, in this space that seems to give me the kind of the best sound definition as well as a, a little bit of a reverb from this room. Um, this is not a studio, it's not, doesn't have the foamy thingies that some, you know, like professional audio engineers have on their walls. Now this is, this is my studio for practice. Uh, I figured that this would be a fair comparison because a lot of musicians when they produce the videos these days, they just you know, do it in the space that they have and probably a room like that, it's um, it's something that a lot of people would use trying to record a uh, video and with a decent audio. Audio is complicated. You see, depending on the device that you're watching this video on, you might have a very different experience. For some of you, you will listen to the microphone comparison and be like, I cannot tell a difference and I don't think it's worth spending money on the audio upgrades. Now, for some other ones of you, uh, situation might be completely different. You'll be like, oh my God, I had no idea how much better the sound can be if I use a different microphone. And here's my credit card, let's go. So, having said that, now let's check out our microphones. iPhone 11 doesn't require much of an introduction. I'm using a video recording function, so I'm capturing the sound and video at the same time. Some people claim that it's better to set it on mono recording. To my ears, stereo sounded better using violin, so I left it there. Here is the Zoom H5. It is an awesome recorder and it comes with several different microphone options. Today we are using a capsule called XYH5, which has a pair of matching microphones that are shock mounted and they can handle up to 140 decibels. But since we are not playing a trombone, we're not going to worry about that today. The Rode NT4, it's a stereo condenser microphone. It has a gold spattered diaphragm capsules in a fixed X, Y, 90 degree position. I guess that's why it's so freaking expensive. Can be powered by a phantom power as well as a nine volt battery. For today's test, I'm connecting it to the zoom recorder and using the phantom power. Low register test. Mid-register test. high register and fast motion response. Quite interesting. If you are listening to this through something like an iPhone speaker, I'm not sure you can really tell the difference between those mics. So I would strongly suggest that you grab a pair of headphones and head back to that section where I'm uh, cycling through the microphones. Then you will be able to tell the difference, I think, a lot easier and make your purchasing decisions. 
So here's what I think about the microphones. iPhone 11, nice sound, uh, nothing particularly bad with it. The only challenge is that there is an automatic gain when you record, therefore, kind of all the dynamic range is reasonably flat, which I guess is good for talking, but when you're trying to play music and make a big differences between your pianos and fortes, uh, it really kind of robs you of that experience. So it's adequate, but um, I guess it could be better, right? So now Zoom H5. The sound is a lot clearer than on the iPhone. It almost feels like one of those clarity in commercials when they show you a hazy picture and they pull the film back and then everything becomes crystal clear. That's what it sounds like to my ear uh, when I transition from the iPhone to the Zoom recorder. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, please feel free to comment about that and give me your opinions, especially I think if you listen with the headphones. The Rode microphone. The most expensive one here, roughly at $550 versus Zoom, which is currently uh, costing about $280. What is your money really buying you? To my ears, I hear that the sound is maybe a slightly clearer than the Zoom. It definitely has more warmth and body to the sound. And the dynamic range is, is quite a bit greater than the Zoom's microphone. Not to mention the iPhone. You see, when I will be doing this experiment and uh, setting the levels for the microphones and the phrase would start exactly at the same volume, Quite often, when that phrase would peak, the iPhone and the Zoom recorder would be very happy and the road would just blow way past the limiter. So then I would have to lower overall uh, volume for all of them in order to stay within sort of limits that are not going to blow somebody's speakers. To answer the question, what is the best value between all those three microphones here? I think that if you already have an iPhone and are thinking about upgrading the audio, Zoom is a fantastic option. You get a very good mic and a recorder as well that then later on you can upgrade to higher end microphones like the Rode NT4. So I would say, I guess you, you get what you pay for. And I would definitely start with purchasing a Zoom recorder and then that gives you a lot greater control over how, how well you can sound and present yourself. Now, if you're trying to get a higher quality content, if you feel like um, Zoom is just not giving you that the sound that you know you can produce on the instrument, then you step to the next level and get another more expensive mic like the Rode. So, um, yeah, that's what I would do. Well, actually, that's what I did. Why saying subscribe for a foreigner is so freaking difficult? Anyway, if you like that video, please consider subscribing to my videos. You might as well like it too, and I will see you later.